22 specimens. Well, 21 and one little bit of gold. And yeah, I'm just shocked. <laughs> yeah, speechless. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to do this one first. Obviously, them two massive species are not going to fit in there. <laughs> A little bit on the back there. Poking out. Oh yeah, just. Uh, I'll have to uh, get the 6000 ready for employment. We'll smash the big bits out of the quartz and then the rest of it we're going to run through our motorised crusher. Hell yeah. That one has uh, yep. loads in there. Well, you crush that one and I'll just go check these with the 6. Thank you. that oh it's all through it I think you might want to have a look at this still got a bit of quartz on there but it should be hard to pickle throw and pick all that off very cool that's got to be half gram of gold now huh yeah that looks now, so sweet as <laughs> you probably don't want to say it's constantly crushing over and over again so we'll get you back at the end maybe Maybe we'll show you some nice bits. Yeah. Maybe we'll get you back when we crush them two big ones. Oh yeah. But that sounds like a plan. still on beautifulness of it. Very nice. Oh, time to smash. I got all the small stuff, minus the extra small and extra small stuff. <laughs> time to crack these open and enlist the help of the metal detector. And then we're gonna separately crush the rest of it so we can see if there's any fines throughout undetectable oh. stuff for a potential for us to bring back many samples of this ore. Yes, and now for that we get to use the new crusher. <laughs> oh yes, I love the new crusher. Easy. Very, Very easy. easy. Oh, look how oxidized it is. No. <laughs> you just pulled a snap out of the side with the tweezers. I just pulled a bit of gold out of the side with the tweezers. Well done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's cool. I was just looking at it. I'm like, oh, that looks like a bit of gold came right out of that spot just there. <laughs> cool, cool. Wouldn't it be oh. funny if that was the only bit of gold in the whole thing? <laughs> nah, she was screaming too loud. <laughs> Still be funny. No, it would not be it would funny. Be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we did one crack with a hammer and out comes the tiny bit of gold. But that'd be the only. That would be the only bit. It would be right. Uh, but we will see, we'll head down into the manageable bits. Take them over to the 6000 and what does not have a signal goes into the crusher bin and what does goes into the dolly pot. Oh yeah. It's amazing now you can just try to understand how quartz gets weathered, oxidized and just breaks apart so easily and leaves gold everywhere. Yeah. There we go. Pretty manageable, and I didn't have to even swing. Cool. Let's uh, tap, tap, tap. head over to the six. <laughs> oh, hello, Jeffrey. That was quick. <laughs> For something that just came out of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just sit in there for now.
Right here, little devil. That's him. It's pretty covered in uh, stone still, but there's a piece all the same. Yep, yeah, just on that one I think. I think it's mixed in with that one. Yep, got him. It's only a small, oh it's only tiny bits. There's another little lump there. A little lump with some stuff in it. Needs another little bit of a tap I'd say. Definitely. That man. There. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Right in the middle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Gold wants to gold. <laughs> yeah, with six thousand gold apparently. <laughs> that didn't take any any more effort than the last bit. Oh, he liked that hammer very nice. You spotted him. Crumbly. How you doing? Oh. Nice. What an eventful trip out to the gold fields. Oh, she stopped singing. We've got all of the oversized bits of gold. Now it's time to check what was in the pan and then we can run the rest of the stuff through the crusher. You're gonna struggle to get that pan in there, boy. Shake, shake, shake. Mm -hmm. Shake, shake, shake. You love how weird I can. <laughs> I'm just a little bit trying to get away from here already. <laughs> Flatty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes, very nice. Oh yeah. That's, that's bloody amazing. I can't wait to see what's in that bucket. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fine city. So you at the crushing station. All right, after that awesome smash up with the dolly pot, it is time to run everything else through the crusher. Then we're going to run it through the cleanup sluice. It's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get her on. Bucket of crush, ready to go. Water in there to uh... make it less hydrophobic. <laughs> Slightly less phobic. You gotta stir up your griddles real nice. You don't want any lumpy business. Hopefully, we get to see some gold. Fine gold. We're hoping for fine, fine gold, to be honest. Yeah, we've already got the pickers out. Yeah. So we will run this twice. Just finishing up the last of the bucket. Ready to see if we got a lot of fine gold or if we didn't get anything at all. 
We have a couple of visible bits, rather visible. And there's uh, a bunch of fines in there. And there's probably going to be a bunch up behind there, and there'll be a bunch of fine sitting down under there. Yeah. Right? And sure. like we said, we would probably give that bucket another run. It was quick enough. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, the brothers have a bit of a Frankenstein machine here, but that doesn't seem to matter. Why doesn't it matter, Andy? Because it still catches gold. Exactly right. Doesn't matter what it looks like, as long as it catches gold. And I tell you what, this bit of ore has had some sensational stuff coming out of it. There is so much gold throughout. Look at that, Pete would be proud. Two lead shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a third one whipping around over in this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> now that was out of the first run of the um, beam adding clean out sluice. We will show you better once we've cleaned it up, of course. Once we clean it up and weigh it. And weigh it, yes. And we did a second run, we got we missed that bit, and there was a heap of fines in there, but really, really much. fine. But like still, there's still did really well. I was so happy. I think we got 95% or more of our uh take out of that bucket, and I thought, you know, for our Frankenstein machine, I think that's pretty good. I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. No, nah, we did all right, and that just proves that you don't need the best equipment in the world, you just need to have a VMAT. <laughs> True. And some water. From most hardware stores too. <laughs> yeah. We need a new one. Ours has got more cracks than a crevice. It does. Hmm. All right, let's clean this up and get it on the scales. We'll see you in there. Hell yeah. All right, time to do the way up. Finally, we have got all the fines in here, the oversize. All right. Tip her on, bro. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ooh, yes, yeah. yes. That's Decent it. as. Yeah, oh, bam. What a day. Hell yeah. It oh. wasn't even a full day. Oh yeah, we got the fines too. We got the fines. It might have ages to clean up. It did. It had to go for an acid bath too. Alright, let's have these on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They actually had quite a bit in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Quite a bit in it. Hell yeah, brother. Absolutely yes. awesome. Good stuff, man.